this is Melissa and welcome back to the channel. I'm here with the info you need to get the results you want because today I want to dive into a powerful concept that can take your coaching or healing business to new heights. We'll be exploring the hierarchy of needs as presented in the book Fix This Next by Mike Michalowicz. This concept provides a roadmap to success by addressing the fundamental elements necessary for a thriving business. So let's dive in and discover how each stage of this hierarchy applies specifically to coaches and healers. Part one is sales. This is the oxygen of your business. Now this hierarchy is based off of Maslow's hierarchy of needs and the base there is your basic needs. So for us, part one sales is like oxygen, the oxygen of your business. Imagine sales as the oxygen that keeps your business alive. We need oxygen to live and your business needs sales in order to thrive. It's the foundation of upon which everything else is built. Because without sales, your business simply can't survive. To identify if you're at this stage, I want you to ask yourself, are you consistently attracting and converting clients? And are you able to generate a steady flow of revenue? If not, it's crucial to focus on creating effective marketing strategies, refining your messaging, and developing compelling offers to generate the cash flow that your business needs. The next step in Maslow's hierarchy of needs is your safety, your safety needs. And so so we're going to put here in our second stage, the profit. It's building that sustainability. So once you've established a solid foundation in sales, the next level is profitability. Profit is like having a roof over your head, providing that sustainability for your business. And it protects you from the elements so you won't get wet or cold or hot when the elements change. Same with profit. No matter what's happening in the market, you still have profit. So to assess if you're at this stage, I want you to ask yourself, are you consistently generating profit and maintaining a healthy bottom line? And are you managing your expenses effectively? If not, it's time to analyze your financials, identify areas where you can increase revenue or actually decrease costs, both of these at the same time. And you wanna create strategies to ensure the long-term financial stability of your business. In Maslow's hierarchy of needs, this next level is our social needs. What we're going to do is adapt that to our business and call it order. This is our efficiency and our systems. With a solid foundation in sales and profitability, you can now focus on creating order within your business. This stage is all about establishing systems, structure, and repeatable processes. Very masculine charged. We want to have that system where we're coming back again and again wash and repeat, and that is masculine energy. So to determine if you're at this stage, I want you to ask yourself, are you able to delegate tasks and operate your business efficiently without being heavily dependent in your own personal involvement? Which means, can you go on vacation and your business will still run without you? If not, it's time to streamline your operations, implement automation tools, and create standard operating procedures, or SOPs. And by doing so, you'll free up your time and your energy to focus on what truly matters, serving your clients. Another question you can ask yourself is if 50 clients were to sign with me tomorrow, will my business effectively be able to take care of each and every client without having to scatter like a crazy person to make those ends meet and also not let anyone fall through the cracks? If the answer is I wouldn't know what to do to take on so many clients, then you probably don't have strong, reliable, and repeatable systems in place and or you haven't actually delegated out these things to have extra hands on deck. So these three stages, which Mike refers to as the get stage, encompasses the responsibility to get sales, to get profit, and to get order established in your business. And they form the foundation upon which your business can grow and thrive. So my question for you today is, which one of these three do you still need help building? Or if you have a solid foundation, let me know that in the comments as well. So the fourth stage in Maslow's hierarchy is your esteem needs. What we're gonna do here for business is call this impact. This is your transformation and your community. And as you move up the hierarchy, you enter the give stage, beginning with impact. Now impact is about creating transformative experiences and building a community around your services. So to evaluate if you're at this stage, I want you to ask yourself, are you consistently delivering results that go beyond the program that you offer? And are you creating a supportive community around your coaching? If not, it's time to focus on refining your coaching techniques, gathering testimonials from satisfied clients, and fostering a sense of belonging and support among your clients. The top of this hierarchy for Maslow is self-actualization. 
organization. Here, we're gonna call this legacy. This is permanence and business continuity. And at that highest level of the hierarchy, legacy is where your business can continue to thrive even without your direct involvement. It's about creating lasting impact and ensuring business continuity. To assess if you're at this stage, I want you to ask yourself, is your business built in a way that it can operate and grow without your constant presence? So not just vacation, but could you leave the country for six months? And have you established a brand and reputation that will endure over time, even after you're way gone? If not, it's time to focus on building a team, creating scalable systems, and developing a brand that resonates with your target audience. By doing so, you'll create a legacy that can live on beyond your personal involvement. I also want to build a legacy, and you can help me by tapping that like button right now and subscribing to the channel so you can grow a profitable online business. Liking and subscribing, it lets me know that you find value in my content and it alerts the algorithm that other people should get a chance to see my content too. It really helps me out and I appreciate you so, so much. So thanks so much. So one thing I want you to realize is that we have the get and we have the give. Now, in general, we like to give before we get, but when it comes to building a business foundation, we really have to get all the things in order before we can give. So for example, if you were going to offer your coaching services to somebody, but you didn't have the foundation ready, you didn't have a way to take payments, you didn't have systems in place, then basically what that means is you're gonna be working for free because you'll be building that legacy and you'll be having that impact, but you're not actually able to make the money consistently. So in order to have the sales, the profit, and all and the order in place, so in order to be able to give freely and make a big lasting impact in this world, you first need to give. It's like taking care of yourself before you take care of others. So we wanna build that foundation and move from there. We wouldn't build the third story of a house before we built the foundation. So we wanna build the sales, the profit, and the order before moving along into your impact and your legacy. And if you get all these in order, it will be very easy for you to give. The hierarchy of needs from Mike's book, Fix This Next, really provides a powerful framework for elevating your coaching or healing business. By addressing each stage, sales, profit, order, impact, and legacy, you can unlock the true potential of your business and create a lasting impact in the lives of your clients. Take the time to assess where you are in each stage and implement the necessary strategies to progress. Success comes from building a solid foundation and then gradually expanding your reach and your influence. So embrace the journey, apply these principles, and watch your business thrive. So now that you know where to put your focus, you may be wondering how to generate revenue in your business. Go ahead and click this next video about my three marketing strategies that you can use to get started right now that will get you to 150K this year. Go check it out.